can be a change of, um, a version of a, of a touche wash, actually. Uh, you, can, you can get something that reticulates and works really nicely. What we're going to do... So this is a toner tush wash? Toner tush wash. It's not exactly a tush wash, but it's, it's negative. You know, the okay. black resists the acid. Any of those gummy Arabic articulations that it would be like? Yeah, so it is. All right, so very important. Start with the toner. For whatever reason, adding toner to the alcohol just it doesn't work. Denatured is, is normal. We've moved away from denatured alcohol just because we can get really cheap methanol oh, in, okay. in mass. Um, we get it from a, a supplier and it's like $150 for a 55 gallon drum, which is awesome. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do this with alcohol. Denatured alcohol, methanol is made from wood, um, methyl cellulose. Mm -hmm. And uh, denatured alcohol is usually a proprietary of methanol and uh, sometimes ethanol. Mm. Uh, ethanol is the same thing but made out of uh, green. Mm. And uh, so it's just the, it's a root material. It's all alcohol. Right. It's just what it's made from. Okay. And it's called denatured alcohol because of blue laws. Mm. So in order to sell it on Sunday, mm. sell it to kids, they add poison to it. And so why would you use something with poison in it? Right. Just use the, the, the methanol. You can mess around with the concentration a lot. And usually, less, less toner is more. Does it give you more of something like this right here? Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a fun mark. You know, it's like, And then it actually will it evaporating. Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. That's why I use alcohol. So you can use water as well. If you use water, I would put a touch of Dawn or PhotoFlow or whatever soap you want to use to keep the surface tension down. And water will give you even better reticulations, but it's less fun to watch in a demo. Well, okay. <laughs> hey, we're watching paint dry. <laughs> so, Robert, that's your caution tape? That's my caution tape. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, that's going to do nice things right in there. And because I want this to go kind of dark, I'm going to make marks all over this. And then the toner that's left behind is going to be like a very, very fine grain <laughs> aqua tint. And of course, my photographic image is going to be hanging out underneath the living, you know, resisting underneath this. So, and this is kind of what I meant about like, you know, bringing everything to the table. You've got some photographic mark in there, you've got some drawing mark in there. And then once this dries, it's not fused yet, so you can mess around with that as well. I like to fuse the drawing or the transfer first so it's solid. So are you going to have to fuse this again, or...? One more time on the fuse, and then we can etch. How much time do you normally...? You can watch it. As soon as it turns shiny, it's, it's set. And it's going to take, of course, the longest and the thickest areas. But, um, so the time this kind of turns into like a plastic film, 
you know, you'll, you'll see it go from matte to shiny. That's 100% that's fused. I'm going to stick this in there.